Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a DIY face mask, so make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like face masks and make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any upcoming videos that we have. Um, so for this one, you're going to need some activated charcoal. I bought this on Amazon. I will make sure to link it down below, but I have done this mask a few times now and you can see there is still a ton of charcoal capsules in there you probably can't see that actually but take my word for it it's still filled all the way up to here you are going to need a bowl of some sort this is just a standard bowl it's nothing fancy um, actually I purchased it at Dollar Tree and then you're gonna need some school glue this one is the knockoff brand because I'm cheap like that, but they had these at Walmart, four of them for a dollar in the back to school section. So I picked up four of them for one dollar and you don't need like a whole lot of it. And then you are going to need a brush to apply your mask with. I personally find that the foundation brushes work the best, like the flat ones. I find that those work the best to apply face masks. And last but definitely not least, you're going to want to wear an old t-shirt that you just don't care about. I did this mask for the first time and I did not think about it and absolutely killed one of my all-time favorite shirts that my sister made for me and it really broke my heart that I messed up my shirt. So go change your clothes and let's get into this. Now I don't know exact measurements. I don't really so much care about exact measurements when it comes to something such as this you just gotta eyeball it so I'm probably going to use about half of this container of glue and just pour it in here probably should have used a different color bowl so that you could actually see what I'm doing sorry about that mm -hmm. however much glue you think it will take to cover your face that's how much glue you're gonna need and I got a big old face so we're going to use about half <laughs> about half of the bottle. Alright, and then you are going to take your activated charcoal. And it comes in little capsules, or at least the one that I did came come in little capsules. Take your little capsules and... I don't really know how to show you this. You are going to take your capsule and break it open and then just dump the contents inside of your bowl. And again, I do not know exact measurements for this. I don't know how many capsules to tell you to put in. Just keep putting them in until, you know, you get a consistency that you like. I just like the idea of putting a black mask on my face, but I'm just gonna mix that around. And I think I'll probably add two to three more capsules not really 100% sure yet, but we'll see. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at three capsules in total in there. And mix that up really, really well. And I just use the brush to mix it up. You can use whatever you want. But this is going to give it a really deep charcoal color so I'm just gonna go ahead and look up some facts about charcoal masks and what they are supposed to be good for so number one it says that it can make your pores smaller and cleaner it can take care of oily skin treat acne it can deep clean your skin smooth and heal bites cuts and irritation um, and that's just to name a few of them so I've got it mixed up and it's very goopy I'm just going to go ahead and apply this to my face. And it doesn't hurt that it looks cool as heck. Alright, so once you have it on, it's going to start kind of making little holes in itself as it dries. And from what I have read, that just means that it's working. That means that it is like separating and pulling out impurities. 
and quick update on the shirt I got it all over it I don't know if you can see that or not but it's all over it so it's starting to tighten up like when I smile and stuff it's starting to feel it um I think I've got some hair yep got a couple little baby hairs stick but um, you're supposed to let it dry for a little while. To be perfectly honest, I'm pretty impatient when it comes to this stuff. And I often hit it with a hair dryer just to help the process out a little bit. I don't know if that benefits you in the least bit or not. But I'm just telling you, that's what I do sometimes. I'm not recommending you do that at all. But I just have a habit of it. But yeah, I'm going to go chill out or hit this with a hair dryer. Don't tell nobody. And then I'll be back to peel it off with you. Alright, so it's completely dry now. I can barely move my face without making wrinkles everywhere. My lips are extremely dry. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and start peeling this off now. Mmm. Yeah, that, um, I won't say that it hurts. It definitely pulls. Mm -mm -mm. It's really sensitive up by the brows. It almost feels like I'm waxing. Ha! Huh, Lord of mercy. You know how they say like a band-aid quick and uh <laughs> and harmless? Disagree completely. I don't think I could do this quickly to save me from dying. <laughs> It hurts. Pretty sure that I'm pulling out all my peach fuzz. Wow, there's like so much dirt and stuff. Do you see this? There's so much dirt and stuff on there. That is crazy. Gosh, that hurts. <laughs> oh my god thought it was sensitive around the outside of my eyes but I think like right here is more sensitive oh my sneeze <coughs> yep sneezing yeah that's how you know it's good I'm trying to break it from around the nose because I want to peel that off separately I want to be super impressed by that golly man that's rough I think I done it wrong last time because it did not. I either done it wrong last time or I done it wrong this time because it did not hurt like this last time. All right, I'm gonna do the nose part now. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that is what I wanted to see. Look at all that. I don't know if you can see it. I'll make sure to insert pictures and stuff so you can actually see the grime and nastiness. Apparently it wasn't completely dry, so I'm going to go finish drying this and I'll be right back. Alright you guys, so the parts that didn't dry, I just went ahead and washed away, but my skin feels amazing. I'm not too worried, it didn't rip out peach fuzz or anything, like it's all still there, I don't feel like I'm going to grow a beard or anything. But um, <laughs> that did have me worried for a second, I thought it was going to rip out my peach fuzz and I was going to have a beard, but it didn't do that. My forehead feels amazing and it's definitely a problematic area for me. I have some fine lines and wrinkles going on up here and I've come to terms with it. You know, I mean, I'm getting older. It's going to happen. So I'm not so upset. There for a little while, I was like really freaking out over it really bad. But I'm just learning to accept it. Yeah, so my thoughts on this mask are that I will definitely be doing it again. I definitely won't use as much product. I had so much stuff left over. It is unreal. There's probably enough in there for me to do two or three more masks. So definitely gonna do it again. And uh, like I said, all you need is some Elmer's glue and activated charcoal. And this stuff's like... I don't know. I don't want to overshoot it and say that it's like 10 bucks, but I don't want to undershoot it and say that it's like 7 But either way, you get a ton of it, and you're supposed to be able to use this on your teeth. I may end up doing a video on that too. I'm not really sure yet. I don't really know. But if you want to see it, let me know and I will. But you are supposed to be able to use this on your teeth to make them whiter. You're supposed to be able to use this on your scalp to 
make it more hydrated and non-itchy which I do have an irritated scalp so I may end up trying that one out as well but that is all that I have for you all this time thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and always be you see you next time bye